So I've inspected no fly strike today and none on the alpacas, but I hear a voice in the distance. I have a vague suspicion. I knew who the voice in the distance is. No, oh, no, it's coming. It's getting closer. So it's not who I thought it was. Come on, you're gonna be late. Well, you're gonna miss the bus. Everybody will have eaten everything. Well, it's your fault. Go on. <laughs> yeah, they were late, weren't they? So, thankfully, everybody is fine. Look at her. She was on three legs when I left for Connemara, but I treated her and she's fine now. What? What? How are you, Crystal? How are you? How are you? How are you doing, Crystal? Hmm? How are you doing, you beautiful girl? You beautiful girl. Yes. You beautiful girl. With her crystal. Isn't that right? You clever girl. Yes. She's in good form. Yes. Despite having her fleece on, she's in good form. How are you? Ear feather, you can see she's fine. She looks like the reverse of a lion. She doesn't have a mane, she has a fleece. And she's pretty much recovered. She's got a few little rough scabby places. There you can see, oh. There's a bit of a scabby place where the um, larvae were. Ow, what are you doing? Crystal is banging the gate against my leg and she's scratching her butt on it. Gotta push her away. Okay, ladies. Everybody's done. Easy does it. Hey ladies, come on. Come on. Easy does it, Brindle, Brindle, Brindle. Come back here, good girl. Come on. Come on. Oi, 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 easy. Come on, come on, leave some for the birds, even though they've got loads of food. Come on, come on, Inca's somewhere else. Come on, come on, Ebony, out. No, out, good girl. Come on, out you go a little bit. Come on, Ebony, out you go. Good sheep. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, your bottom. Move your bottoms. You're okay. It's job's done. Until tomorrow. Yay. No fly strike. Still waiting for the shearer. This wonderful beech tree has been here for a while now. And if you peel back its bark, you can see all kinds of life in it. Worms, centipedes, the 
potato bug, which some people call the potato bug. Look, a slug. There's a baby potato bug. Other people call them wood lice, but there's a worm. There's a um, centipede. There's another centipede. Loads of centipedes. Look at all the centipedes. And you can see how they're eating this out as well. It's fascinating. Oh, look, another beetle. All kinds of insect life is on this. Oh, look at this snail shell. Look at that interesting one right there. You see that right there? Or it could be a house of a larvae of some sort. Yes. You helping me look at this, huh? Well, I'm going to put this down to protect the worms and the slugs and the wood lice. There you go, wood lice. You can go back in under there. But that will, birds will eat it. And see, so you peel it back, and there's more. All hiding from the birds. Birds will pull these out and eat the insects. That's why it's good to leave. Here, let's pull this one out and see what happens. Who lives under here? Woo, centipedes. Worms. All that is the beginning of soil. That is the beginning of soil. There is also the rock side of soil. The granules. There's another centipede. Oh, I just found everything so fascinating. I must be a boring person. Is that right, Inca? Am I a boring person? He says, no, I'm hunting for shrews. I don't think there's anything in there. I think I'm exciting them for no re apparent reason. I'm bold. This chip of wood is in here just as a break to prevent the log from rolling down the hill. How are you, mister? How are you? Yes, you're so sweet. You're such the sweetest thing. You're such the sweetest thing. Yeah, you're such the sweetest thing. Aren't you? Yeah. Ha, ha, ha.